Progress to me means that you're actually taking technology and making people's lives easier, not adding more of a burden to actually use that technology to make your life easier. So I think as we progress with newer technologies that are actually start talking to one another, it needs to be in the back end or in the background so things kind of happen magically and automatically and are actually very useful for people and not just a novelty factor. So I'm one of the co-founders of Natural Machines, which is the makers of Foodini, a 3D food printer. So 3D food printing might sound like a crazy idea, but it's really not that crazy if you think about that if you eat anything from a food manufacturer that's packaged food from a supermarket, for example, you're practically already eating 3D printed food because what a food manufacturer does is they take food, they push it through machines, they shape it and they form it. So we've taken that exact same concept, shrunk it down to a design kitchen appliance that we call Foodini, and the idea is to get people back into their kitchens cooking with more fresh, real ingredients and not relying so much on packaged food. People do ask if 3D food printing is necessary or if it's a novelty. So there are novelty aspects, no doubt. You can print fun shapes, you can have nice food presentations. But even from a food presentation standpoint, it's actually needed because we do judge our food when we look at it, whether we acknowledge that or not. So food presentation is important. But there are certain use studies where shaping a food is actually very important. Whether it's getting kids to eat more healthier items and not just sticking to the basic food groups of children, <laughs> which usually don't include vegetables, but also for people that may be sick or have issues swallowing food. Shaping food has been proven to actually help these people eat a lot more, which is great because they need their nutrition. I think what happens is when we talk about food capsules, people are so ingrained with this coffee capsule concept that people automatically think that you have to buy something pre-filled or that the food is already in the capsule. But we actually do quite the opposite. It's empty, you can put in whatever ingredients you like. Because we actually ship with empty stainless steel food capsules. We have interest from over 90 countries around the world right now, so that's a lot of different local specialties, a lot of different local foods. You can actually use a lot of different ingredients. So in 10 to 15 years, we believe that 3D food printers will become a common kitchen appliance, like an oven or a microwave is a common kitchen appliance today. But our vision is not to say that in the future, everything you eat will be 3D printed, just like everything you eat now doesn't come out of an oven, right? But it's an, when you see an oven in the kitchen, you're not surprised. My kids, not surprised to see a 3D food printer in our kitchen. They're growing up with it. They're growing up with that technology. So we do foresee that it will become a common kitchen appliance.